Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tammy. I'm the owner of Walnut Creek Bath Boutique. Today I am doing a restock of my turmeric and lemon face scrub. I got the original recipe off of uh, Sunshine Soap and Candle Company. I'm a Patreon of hers. And so that's where I got the original recipe. And then I just made a little uh, change here or there uh, just to kind of make it my own, just to make me feel better. <laughs> You know, you want it, you want it to, you want it to be yours, right? Um, there's a few recipes I've bought over the years that I'm not going to change <laughs> at all, but most of the time I do try to make them a little bit different, just, just so I can, I can feel like they're more mine. I can take more ownership of them, if that makes sense. Do you guys think? But anyway. The base recipe came from her. It's a really good formulation, and it's a, it's a face scrub. And like I said, I'm restocking it for the salon in town, but I'm I'm also going to keep some for my website. I I've never put it on my website before. So let me show you what I have in the pot here heating up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pl pull the camera down. I'll probably go ahead and put my hairnet back on too and my gloves. So give me just a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, so in here in my double boiler here, I have it on my hot plate. I have a jojoba oil, which is actually a liquid wax. I love jojoba oil. Um, I have a tallow, I'm going to clean this spatula real quick. I have a tallow uh, cream that I use that I use jojoba oil in. It is a liquid wax that it matches the makeup of your skin. It's like, it's like the thing in plant life that mostly resembles our own skin makeup. And that's why I chose it for my tallow cream. I love it. It uh, won't clog your pores though, and it won't leave you with a greasy feeling, so that's great. And then um, it also uh, helps you balance your oil production in your skin. Abyssinian oil, I love luxury oils in my face products, so Abyssinian oil is in here. It's very good moisturizer. Then this, you know, the, it's turmeric, right? So I have turmeric shea, and it's basically just shea butter that's infused with turmeric. Um, and so they, it's, let me show you. Look at that beautiful, oops, let me get you in frame here. Beautiful yellow color. I get this from Brambleberry, but it's just a beautiful yellow. It's just shea butter, like I said, but it's um, infused with turmeric. And so turmeric's like an antioxidant and an anti-inflammatory, so this is great. And shea butter, I mean, people are like, ah, shea butter on your face. It's actually rates as zero on the, oh, uh, there's a rating scale on whether it will clog your pores or not. And it's a zero. And I, I would say, I can't say the name. Comed, comedine, isn't that horrible? I'm horrible. I can't say words. So that scale, <laughs> it's a, it rates a zero. So it will not clog your pores. Uh, it's got acetyl alcohol and BTMS 50, and it has uh, glycerol uh, sterate. So they're emulsifiers, they're thickeners, they're emollients, so it leaves your skin feeling really, really nice. Um, I love BTMS 50 in my face, lotions and face products because it, it's a conditioning agent too, so it leaves your skin very conditioned as well. Um, so you have all of those, you know, it, there's no water in here. So the, the emulsifiers are so that this washes off your face. We don't want like a real greasy feeling on our face after we've used any sort of oil product, right? Uh, like a scrub, I made a cleansing balm earlier today. So the emulsifiers attract, uh, are attracted with the water that you put on your face and it, and it leaves your face so it feels hydrated and moisturized, but it doesn't feel greasy, and that's what the emulsifiers will do. All right, guys. I am going to just let this sit here and melt down, and when we come back, we'll get the cool down uh, okay, ingredients I'm in back. back. My battery died. I had started all of this. Um, they weren't kidding when they said the battery on this Canon M50 was, was not the best. I'm, I'm changing my battery a lot. But anyway, what I'm doing here is just measuring out my lemon peel powder. 
So the lemon peel powder, I mean, it's it's a little bit of an exfoliation um, that's going to be different than the sugar, and it'll give just a tiny bit of scent, but not it's not really in there for the scent. Um, it's more for honestly label appeal and just a little bit of exfoliation that it gives. Okay, this is all heated through and cooling down. It's too hot still for the cool down ingredients, but that's what we're doing now. We're adding the cool down ingredients. So that was the lemon peel powder. So let's get the green tea, green tea extract. I love extracts and they don't take much in a recipe to really pack a wow. You know, it, you, can, you can get a lot of benefit with just a small amount. Um, but it's an antioxidant, the green tea is. It's also an anti-inflammatory. So it's a good good thing for your face. All right, I'm going to put the preservative in here. Use Optifin. So there's no water in this formulation, but um, I still want to preserve it because I don't know that people aren't going to be using wet fingers to get out of the jar. We're going to be preserved and safe. All right. And then I'm going to get my vitamin E oil in there. And lastly, my lemon essential oil. It's not gonna be overly um, over the top with the lemon essential oil. I'm really, I don't like putting a lot of scents on a face product. I think they're unnecessary. But there are essential oils that are really good for your skin and they have a purpose. Um, so I'm okay with putting a little bit in there, but I, I don't go over the top of the essential oils. Not on the face. Okay, let's see how this is. I think it's still gonna be pretty hot. Yeah, it's still pretty hot. So I'm gonna let this still continue to cool, and as soon as it's cool enough, we'll come back and add the cool down ingredients. All right, it is under 130. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these cool down ingredients. I love the smell of lemon, especially in the springtime. It's just such a, I'm trying to get every little drop out of there. It's just such a nice scent. Very fresh. I got a stack of those little uh, pots going. I've gone through quite a few of them today. All right, I'm gonna stir this and let it cool a little bit more before I add my sugar. Can't have a sugar scrub without sugar, can we? Um, yeah, so it's almost there actually. Just me messing around with it. You know, um, why use a face scrub, right? It takes off the, the dead layer of your skin. I mean, that, I mean, I think people know that. But the benefits of a face scrub, it's more than just taking the dead skin off your face. It allows anything you put on your face to penetrate, right? You have a barrier when you have that um, dead skin cells that aren't being sloughed off. You have a barrier between your skin, like you're deep, deep in your skin and the um, moisturizer or serums or something, vitamin E oils, anything that you're putting on your face, you have a barrier. And so it's really kind of important and get all of that off so that your products, that you're spending money on these products, 
can work better. So I, you know, once a week, I think a scrub on your face, gentle, I'm, I'm not talking about, you know, anything too aggressive, but yeah, uh, it's really, it's really a good idea to work that into your routine at least once a week. It's sweet. Ashley puts uh, my videos and they just, they just play them. And my granddaughter, Gabby. Hi, Gabby. <laughs> I think she thinks it's it. She's five. Is she five? Yeah, she's five. She'll be six in a couple months. So I think she thinks it's neat that I'm on TV or the computer or wherever it is she's watching them. I need to get her back down here. She's made a couple unicorn soaps with me a couple times. I should probably... She, I bet, you know, her mommy and daddy would let her uh, come on YouTube with me and, and show you guys how she makes her unicorn soaps. Of course, she won't talk. You know, she's shy. Okay, I'm going to call that good, and I'm going to go ahead and enter my, or enter. <laughs> I feel like I'm at work. I'm going to enter information. I'm going to pour in my sugar. I made a video early, early on. It's not like I've been on, <laughs> act like I've been doing this for years. I made a video of this, like, it was like the second or third video I ever put out. It was painful. I went back and watched it a while ago just to see kind of what I said. Painful. <laughs> I'm trying to do improve all the time, right? I I don't want to just be putting the same stuff out all the time, but I definitely felt like it was okay to redo this one because that one was don't go watch it. <laughs> it wasn't very good. I did a voiceover and I was kind of nervous and I was being all proper. <laughs> I wasn't really being myself too much. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not even sure if you're, I'm in camera range here. So I have my new camera. I'm getting better. Um, I think I kind of got the uh, glare off. I think I had my camera settings wrong. I had my lights too high. So hopefully it's not too dark. <laughs> but I still have shadows. And I'm, I don't know. That may be just a forever thing. I don't know. I think my son Chase is going to help me um, put dimmers on my can lights. And that may help a little bit. I don't think there's enough in there for a whole, a whole nother two ounces here. Spray it just in case. So there's, um, it's pretty fluid right now. But I'll bring you guys back once it's set up. It'll, it'll definitely firm up. Like right now it would just like fall off your fingers if you try to use it. Um, oops. Yeah, there's about an ounce in left. Quality control. <laughs> I'll be using this one. Oops. All right, guys. I'm going to let these set up and get the lids on them, and um, I won't put the lids on just yet. I'll let them cool completely. I'll show you the end product once they've had a chance to set up and come to room temperature, probably tomorrow, because I have a party to go to. <laughs> okay, I'm back from the party. It's only, it's only been a couple hours, but it is so cold in this room. They are already beyond room temperature. It's like 62 in here, so it's really cold. Uh, but I'm going to bring the camera down so you can see our tester, okay? So give me just a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's our tester and it's got a creaminess to it, 
but it also um, has a sturdiness to it so you can pick it up and you're not gonna like you're not gonna have to scoop it so I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand here let me get my oh sometimes I have to wear a sweatshirt down here my hand a little wet and I'm gonna just scrub scrub my hand here there's no like soap in it there, there's no foaming action or or anything like that but um, it just will give you a nice scrub Oop, there goes my sweatshirt yeah and then it rinses so clean because we put those emulsifiers in there this water is ice Ice cold. I didn't wait for it to warm up down here. All right. So super smooth and just still, it's not, it's not oily. I mean, it just feels nice and smooth. I really, really like it. Uh, I hope you guys liked the video. And um, if you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.